Welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris, and today we're excited to bring you our first edition of Summer Camp. It's been about a little over a week since the players are reporting to camp. Here's the CL Mariners, and they're kind of going through different variances. You've got situational scrimmages. They were originally calling it Spring Training 2.0, but nobody likes that, so we settled with Summer Camp. It's also what they call controlled scrimmages. So sometimes, like here in Seattle, you see them with the coaches behind the mound with the screen. Uh, so it's not full-blown games but it's what you call a scrimmage if you've ever played baseball you definitely recognize what they're doing and here's the Chicago Cubs doing a little bit more of you know a little bit of ground balls and here's Jay Hay just taking some BP so it's kind of a mixture of BP maybe some ground balls fly balls uh, scrimmage games where there might be situational and here they are just uh, warming up in the outfield still the Chicago Cubs and then up here we got uh, Kyle Swarber 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 and one of the most exciting things for us as fans is our daily box score highlights on our favorite sports channel. So let's go ahead and give you one. Here's Detroit Tigers scrimmage, Derek Hill, and a lot of the headlines were comparing this to Willie Mays, which no real comparison, but still a great catch. Look at this. And the ball, he hits the ground. It looks like the ball spits out of the glove, and then while it's in there, he catches it. I mean, it looks like a catch. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but, you know, from another angle, it might have bounced, but we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Here's the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, you know, each team is doing their own little wave scrimmage, and you can see all the coaches behind the screen with all their computer equipment, measuring mechanics, spin rate, etc. So again, each team is doing their own little thing to get everybody ready. And here's Smoke. Gadoosh. Look at that home run. Just crush. I can't wait till the regular season starts. And here's the Atlanta Braves. And you know, a lot of these players are playing 70-80%. It's just like spring training. You're not going full out. Uh, here's Tito talking to his players. And here's Jose Ramirez getting in some BP. So, again, you're not going to see all their arsenal of pitches. Um, they're just trying to get warmed up and get ready. And here's uh, Garrett Cole looking pretty good early. Whiff. And if you played baseball like me, you recognize these. I hated doing workouts. Ugh. Just hated them. I just wanted to play ball. Real quick, this is a, kind of a bummer, but a good thing. Rangers new stadium, Globe Life. Uh, it's not going to be full capacity and look at that little water sprinklers for the kids in the texas heat it's an incredible stadium just wish that we didn't have this corona we could have full stadium you know, look at this shagging the little ground balls you know teammates having fun talking so a lot of these coaches are in management are trying to get these guys ready determine where they're out healthy wise are they at major league speed level and here's houston there's altuve i think i hear somebody banging on the trash can so he knows what batting practice pitch is coming kidding Anyhow, let me digress. Um, you know, a lot of these players are been training in the last few months, and they're ready. Here's the Cardinals coming up with the Orioles. Uh, some saying they're, you know, getting ready. So it just determines who's going to be ready at the very beginning of the season. That's going to be a big deal. I'm telling you, with 60-game season, it's going to be a sprint. We'll see who's going to do it. Thank you for watching Baseball News Club. Have a great day.